In our video study smart during BDS, we have spoken about a method and three techniques to help you out. One of those techniques was mind mapping. So a few of you messaged us asking to explain more in depth about mind mapping. So in today's video, we'll be explaining what are mind maps, how do you make the mind maps, the advantages and disadvantages, the different types of them, and most importantly, various apps you can use in Android, iPhone, or on your laptop to make these mind maps. I'm Dr. Sadish Kumar. This is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. Now, what are mind maps? Mind maps are graphical representations of information. You put the main topic in the center. All the various subtopics are popping out towards the side. You always preferably use different colors to explain each subtopic and the subtopics further across them. When possible, you're supposed to use an image or a diagram at a particular spot. While making such mind maps, you're not supposed to focus on the artistic aspect of it and spend a lot of time. These mind maps help you in basically compressing entire information to small patches. Now, what are the advantages of using such mind maps? If you remember, always when you study in the active learning process, use of diagrams help you remember information better. The main advantage of using a mind map is it converts data into a visual form, which you can remember better. As you know, whenever you're studying with the help of diagrams, you tend to remember the information better. This is what mind maps helps you in. Second, when you're revising towards the end, entire chapters or topics can con be condensed into a smaller form and helps you in quicker revision. The disadvantage is, to make these mind maps, it takes a lot of time. Hence, it is time consuming process. Second, a lot of people end up over complicating it. So that is something you need to avoid. And third, the information which is in the form of paragraphs cannot be converted into mind maps. So you need another note taking mechanism other than just using mind maps only. There are various types of mind maps available such as flow mind map, multi flow mind map, brace map, tree map, circle map, bubble or spider maps and double bubble maps. Now there are various apps you can use to make these mind maps. For example, when it comes to Android, you have the MI mind map, the X mind map, mind map and concept map makers. When it comes to iOS, you have iThoughts, Mindly and MindNode. In your laptop, you can use ClickUp, MindGenius, Miro. These exa just examples of various apps available. You can go and search others if you like them. Remember, some of these are paid and the others are free. So select one based on your choice. I hope from this video, you understood what mind maps are and how do they work. If you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button below. I'm Dr. Satish Kumar. This is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed.